In the previous video, I talked about the um, custom CSS function here in the, into the advanced options of uh, Kalias options. And like I said, these uh, styles here are loaded into the entire website. Now you probably want a custom style loaded in this particular page. So you have to edit this page with the page builder. And here into this drawer you can see this uh, uh, button right here, custom CSS. And this, uh, this uh, box will uh, appear. Now, you can choose this selector here and I'm going to place it here into the custom CSS. So I'm going to change this color to purple. I'm going to publish it. Let me refresh. And as you can see, the color has been changed. If we take a look into the order of the uh, styles, you will notice that these styles, this custom CSS is loaded, uh, most importantly, only in this page but is loaded into the exact source of the head part of the uh, website so it will always have a priority over everything even for i don't know for uh, dynamic styles or whatever it will have priority you can customize uh, things on the page here as I recommended in the previous video, do not uh, edit the template CSS uh, style sheet from the uh, Kalias uh, folder, Kalias CSS folder. It's better to have your own styles, your own overrides and so on, or your custom style sheet, I don't know. but. This is how you add a custom CSS for a specific page. So that's about it. If you have questions, uh, please feel free to ask. And if you also have suggestions as well, don't be afraid to, to ask. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.